The microphone we're talking about right now is the Rode Podcaster mic. Uh, Rode just sent this one to me to show you guys. I've bought about six or seven of these in the past, and now I have one for my home studio now that I can demo for you guys. And the Rode Podcaster mic is their highest end dynamic microphone, but this is the USB version of it. So what does that mean? That means that you can plug and play this microphone into any device and it'll sound this good, basically. Uh, so you can plug this microphone, it's this one right here. You can plug this microphone into your um, iPhone. You can plug it into your iPad. You can plug it into your desktop computer. You can plug it into your laptop. You can plug it into any device that has a USB interface and you can use this microphone for that, okay? So why are you gonna use this microphone versus any number of other microphones out there? Why is this one good? And also, why has this one got a mid-tier price on it versus other ones that may be less expensive? And it's because the quality is better uh, in a number of capacities. So first things first, as you can see, I'm talking directly into this microphone, as you can hear. I've got it really close to my mouth. So I talked a moment ago about how optimum uh, distance from the mic is hang 10 distance. This one benefits from half of hang 10 distance. Why? Because it's a dynamic microphone. So dynamic microphones are excellent at removing background noise. Do you guys right now hear any background noise? Here, let me be quiet for a moment. Listen really carefully. Do you hear any background noise? You probably don't, right? But in my space right now, I want you to know I have a fan going underneath my desk blowing up at the mic. I've got two air conditioning vents in here two computers with the fans going, and a Roomba running in the other room, and there is an airport. I swear to God, there's an airport five blocks that way, right out my window. You didn't hear any of that background noise that's happening because dynamic microphones are excellent at isolating the audio pickup to what's right in front of your mouth, okay? So let's do a quick demo and a quick test to show you what I mean by that, okay? So right now, I am talking directly into the microphone. This is why dynamic microphones are great for eliminating background noise. I'm talking directly into the microphone and then watch what happens when I talk to the side of the microphone. It re significantly reduces the audio, right? And then when I come back to the front of the microphone, it's super, super clear. So you see how much it eliminated the audio just by having the audio off to the side? Significantly reduced it and check it out. When I go up like this, it does not sound anywhere near as loud as it did before. And then when I come back down, it gets super, super loud, right? It's because this microphone only picks up the audio that is right in front of the mic. This is why this microphone is kind of podcast worthy. This is why this microphone is communications worthy. This is why this microphone is good for professional calls as well. If you wanna sound clean, you wanna sound clear, and you wanna eliminate background noise and not have any distractions, this is an excellent microphone to make that happen. Um, it is dynamic. That's why people pick up dynamic mics. Let's talk about some of the features on the mic because it's actually got some cool features you may not be aware of. So as you can see, it is mountable in a Rode shock mount and road stand now you can put it in other brand stands but i like to use the road stand um and you probably are going to want to put this in a boom arm i'll be honest with you this is not the kind of microphone you generally want to mount to a table stand you're going to want to have it in a boom arm because you're going to want it very close to your mouth okay you guys saw the demo i did a moment ago you want it very close to your mouth okay so definitely keep that in mind but on the bottom of the microphone you see down here it's got a headphone jack and it's got a volume knob. So you can plug in headphones right here in the bottom of the mic and you can monitor yourself in real time, which is really, really cool. I like that about this mic. Also, uh, it's got a really rugged construction on the mic. Like you could, this thing could double as a deadly weapon, okay? Now let me just show you what the mic itself looks like. Okay, so as you could see, I took the Rode WS2 windscreen off of the mic and now this is the way it sounds without the windscreen. So I do use this windscreen, but this microphone has a built-in pop filter on the front of it so that if you're this close to the microphone like I am right now, it's not going to pop. You're not going to get big P's in the microphone. You're not going to get puh, 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 punching through on this mic. I love the way that this microphone looks. It looks gorgeous on camera, and it sounds absolutely fantastic, and it's plug and play. It's plug and play. As you can see, it looks beautiful on camera. Like, you see how beautifully white it is? <laughs> so... That's my opinion. So 
for those of you out there that are looking for a microphone that's going to eliminate background noise is going to sound great this good i mean you it's up to you does this sound good to you if you want to sound this good just plugging it into your computer then this is my recommended microphone